Well guys, welcome to the Country Club of Lexington and welcome to match 25, the final match of the year. Coming to you from the Country Club of Lexington. 18 holes, stroke play, and 1v1. This this is going to determine who the best golfer of the year is. I'll tell you what, hey. it's cold and winter golf does not <laughs> suit us well. So hey, buckle up, get ready, grab your shot, let's go. This could turn into a classic. This one's going to come down to the 18th hole. I really do believe that. I feel like I'm just hanging on by a thread. <laughs> Leslie, what has what, what happened? Now I just sit here and watch my fate get decided for me. It just feels like there's a chance right now. I'm back. Who wants it more in match 25 to close out 2023? It all comes out of this, folks. No, 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 no! <laughs> no! George is questioning my uh, hybrid play here. Maybe a hybrid, it's literally. It's about the only club I picked good in the last week, so. Starting on 10 today, hole 10, par four, dog leg left. And just an absolute stripe. Uh. Uh, I mean, that is perfect to miss that tree. You have the geom geometric shortest distance into this hole. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't like... Uh, the, you think you didn't hit it hard, far enough? I don't think I hit it far enough. I kind of missed the club face. No, it's a good start, though. Oh, yeah. I want that spinning little three. Well, little spinning. I overcame adversity there, you know it. I mean, there's a lot of adversity we're about to find over the next four hours or so. Oh, buddy. And we're off. Can't even find the head cover. So life is, oh. oh good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Wait, wait, this, wait. that felt like a Tim the Tap Man intro. We got another banger for you. I'm more of a Dr. Disrespect. Uh, so shout out Doc if you're watching this video. Uh, but welcome what, back. What, George? <laughs> uh, it was a fun one. We haven't been here like this in a while, and it's, it's fun to come back and play a golf course that's familiar. Match 25, this is a quarter century that we have just reached. A quarter of 100. <laughs> also, I'm not sure. We can go back and check the tape, but I think that we started the year at the Country Club of Lexington, so we might as well finish the year. Yeah. Could be completely wrong. I don't know. But yeah, we have a lot to, to get to today. Wesley on the heels of disappointment. Me. <laughs> the heels? Yeah. I mean, It was more than the heels. That was like a full body experience of disappointment. <laughs> it wasn't just, I wish it was just the heels. That hurts. We'll, we'll get to that um, at some Heart, point today. Mind, soul. But here we go. Oh, we got no, my freaking rangefinder. It's in the. It's in my car again. Ooh. But we got about 125 yards, give or take few. Give or take few. Hey, let's go. All right, here we go. 120. It is 39 degrees, so my guess is probably like a 125 shot, maybe even 128. But we do have 50 degree. Oh, we knifed it. Let's go. No, we didn't. I mean, just look at that. Knife, I thought that was a knife. Or did you actually flight one there? It's on a down slow, man. Flighted it. You... Come on, get out of here. By the way, George, can we take a second? And this is our first round of golf we've probably played in, in three months that hasn't been blowing 20 miles an hour. That is true. Good take there. But it'll, it'll, it'll probably groove in a half thin. <laughs> Don't tell Wesley. All right, Wesley. All right. 98 yards. Wet rough. Garden variety. La Baruni. Don't know what to tell it other than hit the ball. Okay, that's it. Hit George's ball. Hey, you gonna give me a read? Let's go. Oh no, 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 no. Put it in reverse, Terry. George <laughs> drove out here and now he's gotta reverse all the way back to the car path. Hold up, wait, let me get it. Hop on in, buddy. Let me let me hop on in. Just got confirmation that. Leslie? Yeah, I uh, I'm bringing the short putter out for this match. It feels like feels like that time just to see what it's like again. I know it's gonna shock a lot of you guys. It's gonna bring a lot of joy to to you guys as well, knowing that the arm lock jailbird is out of the bag temporarily, just for a round. So we'll see how it goes. All right. So we left ourselves in an ideal position, putting straight up the hill. We are gonna be giving George a read though. What grip you got? What's you need? You want a Brian Bros grip on there, dude? I never. I don't even have a. I they don't, they don't been, make it. They only I make it in the. I haven't sent a Brian Bros grip. They don't make it in yours. They only have the tour pistol. Okay, what I'm saying is, I still, I still would haven't you? even seen. I've only seen yours. It's not that much. Would you use this, or is it too fat? Dude, I'll use whatever. I've been putting terrible. Actually, that's not true. I was leading the field through three rounds and putting at Q School, so I don't know. I think I'm just a head case. Mentally checked out on the greens for a day. One day, literally one day. Mental check out at Q School, and here we are. I could be on the PGA Tour again. Nope. Let's just let's just play one v ones against George. Sounds better. <laughs> lock it in, buddy. All right. All right. Let's lock back in. Good. Great par. Tough hole to start. Oh, okay. 
All right, after one, minus one, Wesley even, heading to hole two, par three. Could be a good one today, about 195 to a 205 yard shot. Dude, I don't have it, I'm gonna give it to arm lock. arm lock, you said you would give it a year. See, this is- No, no, I was gonna give it six months. You I said... just, I, the, so it was just, we streamed yesterday and I used George's putter because no. I didn't want to bring mine up to the green. No, it's this, he, I've told him this, it is the double wide with that grip. It's not a short putter, that, it has to be that. Go ahead, arm lock. Arm lock. That was one whole experiment. Didn't like it. Got to lock it in here. Lock it in here. And we'll get it locked in out here somewhere. Short putter's out. Yeah. I mean, it's it's done. Stick a fork in it. I mean, welcome. 215 into the fan. Long, hard par three. Hit like two golf balls today. But George has the honor, so I get to watch him hit a really clanky, terrible shot first, and then I, mean, I, I can like probably it. follow it up with something similar. Do you think Barney even gets there? Warren gets to the middle Warren, of the green for Warren you. Warren covers you. Yeah. Back pin. Hey, we got into the grips. We got the Super Stroke uh, all the way through the bag now. Three different colors, so we're giving them a go. Is it because they didn't have enough for the one color? I just dug them up. I had a box of like 70 grips and I just started picking. All right, here we go. Did they send you all the grips and you didn't share any with me, George? I mean, that's so pure. That's all the way back there. I mean, what a golf shot. That was nice. Is there a tournament I can play in right now or anything? I don't know. That looked like a savey, too. Was it? No, we don't say that to me right now. That was no, not savey, Chris. Like, it was good. It was solid. Just a little thing. Good shot, man. Just like be better than that. That's not. It's a four iron. I know. I understand that, but I just wanted it to be a little better. Four iron is a good strike. It's gonna be. We got layers on. Uh, one of the biggest keys, and and Greg's a aficionado in playing layer, layers, being from England. The key, the key is like being aggressive and honestly almost swinging harder than you. Th not harder, but like you really got to put a lot of effort into it to get through the layers. The key it's, is it's just, no. The key is wearing less layers and just being cold and fighting through being cold. I mean, I've always gone for like more of like a three-quarter feel. But I know, but because it's just so hard when you get to the top there, because you're like, I've got so much. Yes, like this. this. But I'm so talking like, about through the ball. You yeah, have to through be the extra ball. Like, so we came to the conclusion that none of us made any sense there and disregarded everything we said. But we're gonna see on the green with good looks of birdie. <laughs> I, st I still think the best way to play golf in the cold is just to be really cold, have the least amount of layers on possible. Personally, like the Scotty Scheffler approach, where you put the jacket on between shots and then take it off Try it during shots. So, all right. Let's get after it. I feel like I was onto something there and I didn't flush my thought out. So making sure you have a bigger turn, making sure you have a bigger turn when it's cold or like your body's not moving. Is I mean, no, the pond's frozen. Pond's frozen. But then through the ball, not swinging harder, but just being aggressive and like being cognizant that your body's not moving as, as it would in a hundred, hundred degree day. You're not talking as well either. So really just try to get through the ball, get a little more ump, but smooth ump. That makes sense. <laughs> Dude, what? you've got to like just cut all of that. Everything yeah. that you've talked about cold is, Gosh. there's going to be people that just don't care yeah. or feel sorry for us. So you get for chip of that. Wait, never mind. Whoa. Oh, never mind. How many chips have I left short, Carney? Shut out for I feel like I just leave them all short. Every, putting everything out or are we, we having a just like very close gimme? Well, I mean, this is a gimme, George. Micah wouldn't even miss it from that length. And if Micah, if Micah has 0% chance of missing it, it should be a gimme. So honestly, like we might, it might be like, I don't think it was slander. If it's factual, it's not slander. Start the day, there's just no way. There's no way, look, yeah. What, ha what? Yeah. It, it just hit the brakes, like an airplane. Yeah. Dead in the center. Dude, you're the beast. We're, again, it's not. It's coming to an end. No, but then next year, you thought this year, but it's gonna be years of the beast, which anytime you have multiple things in a row, it just gets stronger. It's like multiplication, it just <laughs> keeps growing. Okay, so let's, let's I've got to try a thought. No, no, let's be honest. Oh, no, okay. I've got to try a thought, then you can go. Um, no, but it's, I think it's still gonna end on a very strong note. I mean, one under through two, almost made a birdie on an impossible hole. Guys, it'll be a special day. <laughs> All right, now, yeah, now what are you saying? Well, the question I was going to pose is who's had a beastier year? Ah, hey, comment. Hey, this is an issue. Comment down below who's had a beastier year. Wesley. Make an argument for both of them. Wesley made. A, 
I mean, seven of, seven of his last eight cuts on tour, six of his last seven. The cuts he didn't miss were by one, so he could have made his last 10 cuts on tour in a row. I went through two stages of Q School, made a cut in a PJ Tour event, one for one, 100% cut rate. I don't know, man, it's, it's a toss up. Top 10 in a tour event, and he Monday qualified into a tour event. Where I beat you in a playoff. Ooh. So I. It, you, you bring I feel up like our, I feel like our, I feel like our match. I feel like I might have won the the one v one match record. I don't know, but I just feel like George did have. If I had to put my vote in the comment section, I would say George had a beastier year than me. <sighs> I mean, dude, it is. It's cold. This is the cold. It's not. Bad. I know it's not that bad, but this is the coldest I've played golf this year. I mean, we drove past a frozen pond. Are you are just turning more and get more up and swing harder. It's a cold, my cold theory. It's a good theory to have. Hey, okay. the other question is, who's going to hit it longer today, George? You or I? Nice. George has been talking about, oh, he's been in a power surge. I've been in a power slump. Uh, still a good swing, a little right. No, no harm, no foul. Guys, this might be the final push that we make. Four? 300,000 subs, George. I, know, I mean, I, we gotta get there before December 31st. I think we're, we're like just under 3,000, just over 3,000 away, I think. I mean, we got, y'all gotta help us out. Yeah, if, you're, if you are new, uh, subscribe to the channel. I think, I looked at some, one of the analytics, it was like 70% of people that watch the videos aren't subscribed, which is fascinating, which is kind of cool, because that means new people are watching and kind of seeing the videos for the first time. Shout out to you guys. But yeah, subscribe. Next year, I feel like it's gonna be crazier than this. The course is gonna be, pretty much done. I feel like my PJ Tour and Corn Ferry Tour stuff is like, I feel like we'll have some cool opportunities. Wesley, DP World Tour, PJ Tour. Oh, breaking news. I just committed for my to my first DP World event. Did you? This morning. Which one? The one in Dubai. I, I might not go over and play, but I, I just wanted to commit to one. So, so anyway, so then on, on the other front, you know, Micah Grant, Busted Jack, all those guys, it's just gonna be some fun content that's competitive, PJ Tour, Corn Ferry, Pro Golf. Right. Range and then getting the guys just filming some stuff. So anyway, subscribe. That's my spiel. And here we go. Our whole 11, whole 12, our third of the day. How far? 66. Here. 66. I bombed it past Wesley. There is a random ball in front of the green. Don't know where that came from, but I have got 66 yards. And this is, dude, I'm telling you, this has been the, the spot in my game. And as odd as it is, this is where I've really been struggling over the last like six months or so. So time to lock in. I mean, at this point, I'm just looking for a birdie opportunity. Whereas in the past, I was trying to hold these out. I mean, quality effort. I got the hand raise from Greg, which is always a good sign. Solid contact, direction wasn't amazing. Take that, brick by brick, lily pad by lily pad. We're gonna get to the other side. All right, lock in, 63 yards. Take a skip, spin. It's a good, it's a good shot today. Whatever that means. Oh, 63. Oh no! It, it just felt like that was coming. Oh! I just felt like that was coming. I don't know why. Sorry, guys. I, just, we, I got really wet turf. Explaining. That's chunk. Grainy, dormant Bermuda. I just, I got mentally, I got to be better than that. That's 100% a minimal mistake. I need to back off and say, hey, no, commit to the shot. You're great at 65 yard shot. Didn't do that there. He can blame the conditions all he wants, but he was in the fairway, 50, 60 yards out. Year of the beast. Was that a year of the beast question mark? Just saying, just putting it out there. You know, it, you got to take this into consideration there. It's a wedge. It's over. It's, it's not looking good. Ooh, damage Wesley here. Lucky for you, you just duffed one. I don't see why you can't duff another one. This is 100% going in. Oh, yeah. Quality shot. Yeah. Potable though. It's a little more up there, Wesley. Yeah. Idea was good. I'm pleased with that one. Flip the script early. Lock it in, lock it in, lock it in. Oh gosh. What was that? <laughs> Not good. Not good. Oh my god, you felt missed it. Yeah, I did miss one of those last week, but boy oh boy, that was yee. Yee. Good pot. Thank you. Alright. No harm, no foul. One under through three, even through three, heading to the par four, number thirteen, which is our fourth one. I'm gonna hop in and steal the tea early. See what kind of vibes the old 
T steel brings. I feel like that would have been more of a cut swing. Is I it? felt like that was going to cut like 20 yards and it cut about four. Definitely better swing that. It's not bad though. Uh oh. Uh oh, right. Uh, uh, might be better. I, after after, that, after uh, that last uh, wet shot from the fairway, I might need to be in the rough. First off, I uh, hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. Hope you all had a good holiday season. Spend time with family, loved ones. Thank you all for watching. This year is a wise one end. Um, thank you all for watching and all the support you all showed throughout this year. It's been cool to be able to put this stuff out there for you guys to watch and thank you for the support. But number two, and not more importantly, least importantly, what are some of y'all's golf goals for the 2024? I'll, I'll read a lot of the comments and I love hearing from you guys. So kind of like, well, I want to hear some, I want to see some goals. I, we'll probably get into in later videos, like our goals for 2024, you know, professionally. But I want to see, what, what is y'all's like? I want to hear them. So comment down below and my goal for right now, Wesley, is to hit this next wedge shot on the green because it, we even know where your ball it's is. It's gonna be muddy know and it could be interesting. I don't even think we can find your ball. No, we're gonna find it. Are you kidding me? Oh, there it is right there. Yeah, we're good. Setting up from the car. Um, all right, here we go. This is this time of the year you get interesting lies, uh, especially when it rain it's rained a whole lot here, so it's very wet. You got grainy, muddy, dormant grass everywhere. So contact is a premium. So this one we have 78 yards. We're gonna try to hit land this honestly, probably about 65 and let it just kind of trundle back there. Scoot back there if I'm 15 feet short, so be it. Mud took it the wrong way, but hey, mission accomplished. Dug it out there. It's about 20 feet for birdie. Hey, that's all right. I don't know if I brought enough bat. I got 105. Full lob wedge. Got a chance to get all the way back there. Leaking. Don't spin. Whoa, the rip's off. It just wasn't enough club, unfortunately. Chalk it up to not wanting to go back to the cart and get 56. But still got to look at bird. Okay, not a terrible look at bird here. Honestly, a little closer than I thought. I thought the pin was further back. Maybe in 2024, I'll know how to read this green better. This is one I just. No, that's one you chalk up to just hope. Just I mean, what you just hit it straight and hopefully it goes in. I mean, I, yeah, but then it kind of goes all. A little I think bit it's going right left. left. I think it's going a little left. Yeah, you can see it, it has to. It has green. to go a little left. Like a little more than a little. Good stroke. Yeah, the first stroke is usually the worst. Hey, that's too that's too much back bar on the there. I'm gonna put it. I mean that's a good putt. It, 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 it kinda went right that first half. Good I mean, heck of a good stroke though. Oh, nice putt, Georgie boy. All right, do we want pars there on this hole? No, but I mean, no harm, no foul. Pars are, I mean, I'm not mad. When it's this cold, I'm not mad at pars. Anyway, one out of three, four for me, even through four for Wesley. Playing some good golf, but you guys know, 15, 16, 17, 18 here at Lex, some of the most volatile holes in all of golf here in the Midlands. So buckle up because I really, I really feel that one of us is going to play three, those, those four holes, three under minimum. Heading to the par four, 14. All right, stealing the tee box again. Whoa! Again, I mean, George, I was just ready. All right, all right. Dude, that looks so savvy. Savvy. Yes. You savvy, George? That is lace. So I hit savvy. it so hard I even broke my tee. See that, that right there, that felt like the swing that changes things. Really? Yes. That one. Yes, that one. Hey, not my back swing, man, come on. Oh, get left. Get a little, just like, well, get the tree. Oh, that's kind of hammered. I don't like that. I went aggressive. Um, that's yeah, disappointing. I wanted, but this hole, you can't, the, when it's this cold, the little weak fan to the right. No, I know, but all that ball had to do was kick left, and instead it kicks forward and right. But he is right. That's good. That, that's swing that Wesley. That's a good swing. Wesley. Ch it, I'm telling you, think, things are changing right here. Right it now. just shifted. 150, a little mud on the turtle. Gotta get that off, goodness gracious. Uphill, little end of the wind, should be a perfect eight iron. I actually don't even know if this is gonna get there. I don't love it, George. I, I, don't, I don't like that at all, the chunk pull. I thought, I thought things were changing back on the tee Well, box. Wesley, I guess, not. I guess they're not. I need to walk that one off, George. You just go to your ball. This is where this is where it gets interesting. 135 up to about 140. Summertime it's like a perfect pitching wedge. It's probably gonna fly a little bit. And it, right now nine iron seems like a lot of club, but you have to 
like respect the cold and the conditions. So we're gonna go like a three quarter, like 140 shot with nine iron. Should be a little bit short when I run back there. Of course it comes out soft and spinny. Go! I know, it's short, I know. Had I known it wasn't gonna jump, I would've hit a little harder, because I hit that thing nice, exactly the way I wanted to. But the key here on this hole, airing a little bit short, because I think it depends on the back. If it goes long, you're left with a dicey little up and down, so. Dang it. Okay, okay. So it'll be an even kill. Moving on to the next shot. Not complaining about it. Never. I mean, upon further review, my chunk pull wasn't as bad as it looked. Where is yours, Wesley? I'm right over here, short left. Where? Like 20 feet. Oh, you're putting? Yeah. You gotta think eventually one of these putts is gonna go in the hole. Seriously? Well, I mean, that's a good, that's a good shot. I, I know, I play a fantastic iron. My bad shots just aren't that bad, I guess. Wesley, is it crazy to me to think this, this could be like dead straight? Uh, I think the last few feet it's gonna try and pickle right. Yeah. It has to. That's, that's a spot on reef. It's a shame I can't read my own putts that good. <laughs> Maybe I'm completely missing the boat, and I should be a caddy. I should be like an elite level <laughs> caddy. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. No, he didn't hit it. No, just hit it a little harder. Ah, everything felt right. All right, even to one under. This match is uh, bringing you a lot of pars thus far. We'll change. Next hole is par five. Like I'm forgetting which side the gas pedal's on, but I think it's on the right. Woo! Bringing the energy today. Some people on the stream yesterday, shout out to the Discord and uh, Twitch streamers, said I was unhinged. A little, uh... You, you so. were. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But we're, hey, we're bringing that same energy today. No, we're not. I'm making a bunch no, of No, you parts. are. I, I am. Hey, before we hit, hit this tee shot on the 15th hole, our sixth, turkey or ham? It's Christmas season. Turkey or ham? Dude, first off, anybody that answers turkey... What? I loved a good turkey. It's not as good as a good ham. Get back, get back in here. We're not done. No, get, get back okay. in here. Well, third option. No, no, no. Bacon. No, side dish. Like the fixin'. A fixin'? Mac and cheese? Nah. Mine's sweet, a good sweet potato casserole. With or without marshmallows? At, without marshmallow, without the topping, just straight sugar, butter, and mashed potato, mashed sweet potatoes. Bake it. Shout out, grandma made the best dish. My mom has, Val has stepped her game up. I wouldn't say it's better than, than Mimi's, but it's, it's getting there. And so, uh. How about, how about this? Another one. Puppy chow or peanut butter balls? Ooh, man, you can you can you can get stuck in a bag of puppy chow. <laughs> but I don't know them little Buckeye peanut butter balls. Uh, anyway, well, let's let's hear it breaking out all the stops this this uh, video for um, called action. Back to golf. No, no, no favorite. Well, yeah, you. Oh you, wait. No, just comment. Can I go hit. Yeah, you go hit. You're okay, good. I'll go hit. Hammer turkey for you guys. Oh, and and give give me your favorite side dish. I'm telling you, a sweet potato casserole that's well done, undefeated. While George is talking to the GoPro over there, I'm gonna steal the tee box for a third straight hole, maybe third time's a charm. The tee box bandit is back. Oh boy. <laughs> I mean, just in the middle of the trees. <laughs> just right in the middle of the trees. <laughs> oh man. I don't know what's so funny. Just watching a man demise is not funny. Hey, after this whole, we will, uh, we'll, we'll talk about Q School and demise. Speaking of demise, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am unhinged. We haven't gotten loopy in my uh, old age. No, we're, we're gonna, we haven't talked about Q School yet. We'll talk about it. It's not, it's not a demise. I wasn't even that, yours in the trees. Not that bad of a shot. It really isn't. All right, it's a big spot for me. Oh my God. Oh, further right. That's, that's get out of bounds. bounds. That's out of bounds. Get, get out of bounds. Guys? No! Get out of bounds. The only thing he has going for him is I, he completely missed the club face. I don't know if it got far enough to go out of bounds. I'm telling you, it's winter golf. That's what I was talking about. You gotta do a good job on really like get through the ball and being more aggressive than you normally would. Maybe it's original. So like, this only thing I'm doing on this one is gonna try to be more aggressive. I didn't feel like that bad of a swing either. All right. See? Good ball. See, it's so frustrating. Bigger turn because you got a lot of layers on and rip it. George, if this is good, we'll just take these two balls. All right. George's key was bigger turn. And just more aggressive through it. Because I like it makes up for the, the all the layers. See? Look at that. Told you. Bigger turn. And then what was the other one? More aggressive. More aggressive. That was it. 
I'm gonna apologize to you guys. A, I guess the coffee's hitting a little different today, but B, I feel like I let you guys let let myself down on that one. It's like I'm, I gave Wesley a spear, maybe two or three, and then I go and hit a worse drive than him. So I mean, I deserved it. I did. I deserved that, Wesley. I deserved every bit of that drive, potentially going out of bounds. It was awful. It's beginning to feel a lot like. But the affirming thing is that my prisoner ball, I did what I said, you know, my key to like winter golf is trusting swinging not harder but just turning more and, and doing some things differently that you normally wouldn't do when you're wearing shorts and short sleeves and it's 100 degrees outside i did the same thing and yeah you piped it i mean i, I don't even think today wesley if you, we i don't hit, think, I don't you, think you, you get to the hazard it. also i don't even think you got to the trees over here george i hit mine so spinny you're, you're gonna be by this first tree right here if I anything oh man but i'm going right well i mean one can only hope it went down oh, oh there's one there's yeah, one you. oh that's the titleist that's me it was, it was like the same. Like, what, what am I doing? Oh! Ha! 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 It's like in this tree right here, George. Oh, found it! Good. Oh, oh, yeah. that. that is unbelievable! Got it! <sighs> gotta, watch, gotta watch the eyes here on this one. Oh, get through the fairway! Go! Go! Keep going, get in the hazard. I think it was hot. Hey, uh, the one thing you couldn't make is like derp it right in front of you and get blocked out. Oh, dang. Hey, we got life. Oh, dang it. All right, Wesley is going for the absolute idiotic play here. I'm gonna try and go up there kind of as far as possible. And this, this I hope this works out. Oh, it didn't work out. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wesley, what did what, what it happen? Why would you do that? I was trying to hook it around that tree and get it up there in the fairway further up. <laughs> Make it messy. And, and it went in the ditch. Oh, goodness. It's, it's not in the ditch. Disappointing. We're gonna get up and down to make it hard here. <sighs> Golf is hard. All right, well, here we go. 220. We got three iron in hand. It's a weird lie, but I mean, down like I was hitting good three irons in the range, and it should be the perfect. If I hit this solid, it, it I think it gets there. It's a big spot. I mean, hit on the green. God, I'm nervous. It's making me nervous. Oh. Oh, what a shot. We're gonna have a heck of a long chip shot. Let's go. We got it over the water. <laughs> oh, I was kind of nervous. You wanna shoot it, Georgie? 99. All right, I got 95 yards. I just have a feeling this is about to go in, George. Just got that feeling. That shot's terrible. George, there it is. I mean, that's what you did all at Q School. You're, he said his legs were bad at Q School. I, and they're, uh, yeah, that was like two days ago, so they're obviously terrible today as well. Goodness gracious. Got a 25 footer for par on this par five here. Tough hole, tough day. Wind's out here whipping. 2023 needs to end. Whoa, well, I'm in on the green? What a shot! I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what a shot! Oh, George can make birdie here. I bet I put it birdie after that. <laughs> and I'm, so, I'm over here grinding for par. Hey, but you are the best brother that I've ever had, and remember, you just, gotta, you just need to know that sometimes. Wow, I have a birdie put on this hole. This is absolutely amazing. What a shot. Oh, that is, that is hey. not good. I mean, a great, my speed, my speed has been really good. Uh, that's one thing I've been proud of the last few weeks. But my re, like, I thought everything, everything was breaking towards no, the water. I think this, it pushes off the bunker and goes right through here. Wow. Mine is the one where it's going to push right and it's going to curl back a little bit left. I've got a good read on it. I just need to put a good stroke on it. Oh, such a good putt. Good putt. Ah, it just never went right. Thought I had a good read on it. No, you did. You had, a, you had a great read. Oh, that's a bogey. I'm over par. I'm one over now. That's a bogey as well. That's left? Well, that was a pull. Was it a pull? Yeah. Still. That was a pull. 
It was a pull. George, you pulled it. It's okay. Not that okay. much. Dude, that was a tough hole. We just both made bogey on a reachable par five. All right, even par. One over, heading to the 16th hole. Here at Lex. Hey, you know, it's regardless, hey, regardless of the scores, we got to serve some good match. Who cares? Par four, usually drivable 16th hole. Today, doesn't matter how close we get on that tee box, I don't think we're getting there. But, oh well. Well, hopefully y'all are enjoying this thus far. It's been an absolute birdie fest to close out the year. It happens. Oh, also, George, because of my antics a couple matches ago or a couple videos ago, I brought you a. I brought You're gifting one. me one? I'm gifting you one. And this is a good Go Macro bar, by the way. This is the peanut butter chocolate chip. This is. Oh, this good. is a good one. Yeah, that's as good as it gets. Yeah. I'll have to drive a par four now. The T Box Bandit is back. Still hadn't lost a hole, even though that last one was a little touch and go situation. Driver might be able to get it on the green today. Way to go. Hey, remember our, our keys, Wesley? I got, I got the keys. All right. The bad news is, it's a terrible golf shot. Oh, I was trying to hit it at the right bunker up there, right in the hole. Oh, okay. No, so I hit it 60 yards left of my target. You are a lot of good after that. We're off today. Just a little off. That's right, see off season. Yeah. The good news is, George, you're gonna have a lot of green to work with. He's watching that one as if it had a chance I, I to get on the green. I don't know how, I mean, that's 40 yards short. The problem with Go Macros in the wintertime, when it's cold, they are hard to get to, and it's chewy, and the jaw gets real tired. Can't even hardly finish it. That's the bad news. The good news is we're about to make birdie here. But I'm not gonna be able to talk for a couple holes because my jaw's gonna be sore. Well, this might be a good thing. Oh, go in. Go in. Did it go in? No. It didn't go in. Where is it? About 10 feet long. 10 feet? It, it, it landed deep. It, it, it kind of skipped over the hole. Oh, man. That's brutal. Oh, for sure that was going in. All right, here we go. Soft hands. It's kind of like I did with the, uh, in the USC women's uh, match. Hole number two, that same kind of shot. Soft hands. Take a couple hops. Not bad at all. Not great. This just feels like a must make. Again, I feel like we're also too early in the video for a must make, but this just, we need this one bad. Oh, good putt. Good stroke. That, that, was, that was a big putt. I yeah, I, huge. I mean, quite literally the biggest momentum putt of the day thus far. I felt it. And the problem with me making that yeah. is that turned into what felt like a must make for George as well. Back to under par. Hey, let the birdie barrage begin. Heading to the eighth hole, par 317. This is going to be a good one today. Back right pin, probably about 220. One under for me even. After that debacle of 15, we bounce back. Which that's, hey, golf's all about the bounce backs. So you're going to have tough times. How do you react? Me and Wesley did well. See you on the 17th. I got five iron. It's 208. Wind should be helping a touch. And I'm just back. I'm, I'm going to yeah. keep stealing the tee box till I lose the hole. I mean, at this point, it's your It's no more stealing. You've just nah, you've I mean, adopted would, this as your own. At this I, would point. Just, I would just say it's, it's kind of stealing. Need a quality one here. Quality strike is all we need. Direction doesn't matter that much. I mean, now I just need that to fly like seven yards. It's just. It's just a weak effort. It's a weak effort. Non-committal. It's gotta be four iron though, man. No, it's now in. I mean, it hit three iron two holes ago that flew like 215. It's just gotta be a four iron. Or what's it went wrong? The five iron trying to muscle it. Good smooth four. God, it's such a good strike, Wesley. And it's just, just gonna well, bury, bury no. him well. Oh, we carried the bunker. I hit, four, the I hit four iron. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, you didn't oh, such a good strike. I just, maybe I should aim more in the center of the green. That's where I went and tried to go right at it to play my draw off of it, but I probably need to go about 20 feet left, swing, and probably know that it's going to be pretty straight. Maybe leak right. Nah, it's fine. Solid strike with a four iron. Can't be too mad. Uh, now it's an old fashioned chip off, Wesley. Well, Carney just delivered some awful news saying, We well, hit five iron. In the zoom, he thinks he saw it plug uh -huh. in the lip. Yikes. I thought it flew in the middle of the bunker. Well, regardless. That stinks. It also stinks to get the Q school. So let's 
shift gears, be serious. I feel like there's a time and place where it'll probably be a video on Brian Bros TV, really unpacking everything the whole week. But just in a couple minutes, like, Wesley played really well. If you guys follow him, played so good for three rounds. Y'all just watch the video. Yeah. And it does stink. What, how are your honest feel, thoughts, reactions from the week? Like, what are your takeaways and, yeah, where, where are you at? Well, I kind of, when I was recapping the end of the last video is, my good is still absolutely good enough. Mm -hmm. Totally um, agree. I was, I struck the ball really well. I'm probably the most consistent ball striking that I'd had for three rounds all year. Mm -hmm. um, the one bad day was a little bit brutal, but not going to let one day define me yeah. at the end of the day. Golf is hard. You're not going to play every round like you want to. And mm -hmm. I think 2024 is probably going to be a little bit better of a year ball striking wise, which hopefully should lead to a little bit better year result wise. Mm -hmm. But emotionally, obviously it's, it's tough to, when you're so close to something that you want, whether it be in the business world or whether it be in athletics, it's like when you get so close close when you make it to the championship game or when you yeah. are so close to landing a huge client or whatever it is and then it just doesn't work out it's disappointing so all in all there's going to be some scars but we'll recover and get back to dominating this match at some point so that's <laughs> yeah whatever. let's go come on but to, like again wesley you guys see he, he kind of jokes around he doesn't ever let you know exactly how i was feeling but he he was visibly like he was upset with how he played or with how the things shook mm -hmm. out but at the same time he's very encouraged and hopeful coming from that week like shooting 79 you could easily eject and say hey i'm done like I, I hate this but no he he took the fact that three rounds he was in the top 10 played solid all three rounds he's not gonna let 179 deter him he's 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 hurt he's annoyed he's you know frustrated but at the same time i think he's way more encouraged leaving that event than he was any other event throughout the year, I think, leading into 2024. So, with that being said, proud of you, Wesley. Love you, and um, let's go. Oh, wait, what do you mean great spot? I barely got to the bunker. Eee, maybe I need a four iron. Cool. Little, little bunker hole out. Never hurt anybody's feelings except for Georgie boys. Go in. Go in. Go in. I left it short again, Carney. Man, felt good off the blade too. I think we're gonna we gonna have the 54 again, Wesley. This feels like a 54 kind of shot. Man, that one right there was just a gently firmer bounce away from old glory. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That was a great shot and it just turned this hole into an emotional roller coaster for you. Thinking that you had a chance at two, it, it, and thought, now more than likely making four? Statistically, probably. I don't know what the percentage is there for tour, but coming off the face, I had a weird lie, so I had to, like, play a low runner. As soon as I hit it, I was like, this might be... Yeah, but it, it didn't, like, take that first, like, kind of soft check. It kind of went a skitty route, but, yeah, what do I have? Eight feet? You got seven feet, which is Slider. about 60% success rate, but Slider. that doesn't account the fact that this putt's going to break over a foot. So my guess is real-time stats are saying about 38 to 42% chance of great success here. I mean, just calmly rolls it in. How about just right in the middle? Right in the middle, perfect speed. That was a good putt. I gotta hurry back to the car and grab my driver so I can continue to be a T box fan. <laughs> oh. Hey, par five, 18, our ninth hole of the day. We're almost at the halfway point. One under, even par. Hey, things aren't getting chippy. Yet. Good up and downs there. No, the great. I'd say great up and downs. And this actually, if you think about it, back to back for both of us, good up and downs. I mean, and the thing is, again, this time of year, you get squirrely lies around the green. Hands aren't quite feeling all there. So, like, those are, I think, turns from just like above average up and downs to great up and downs this time of the year. Come on, just, just calm down. Quality shot, quality strike. Gotta go. George. How about none of the above? It's a good ball. Now you, I'm going to hit a provisional for a lost ball. I feel like I'm on a slippery slope right now, George. Dude, you, know, you know the keys to cold weather, just turn a little more and just put some up into it. Oh. Smooth, smooth them, smooth them. That's right in the middle of the hazard. Eesh. 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 
We need to find the first one. We need to find it. I mean, what's even? I mean, I'm taking this jab. I'm taking the puffer vest off on the back nine. So Me we're, too. We're coming. Like Me this train's too. about to keep rolling. So you need to get your act together. Uh, we need to find the first one. That's all there is to it. Oh man. We wish you a Merry this Christmas. News, we George. wish you a Merry Christmas. I'm about to go one, two, three, four. Uh, happy New Year. Five, Wait, where's my block go? Oh, right in, in the, the fairway. fairway. I'm, about to, I'm about to make a seven best case scenario. Unless nice. we're up. I mean, we just, we gotta, we gotta find the first one. <laughs> Things oh, are no, 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 George. Wait, why did you just hit it? Just hit it from the left. No, George, I know, I wanted to. Oh, ball! Where? Oh, ball! Come on! <laughs> That's it! <laughs> That's it! <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> now how do we creative, creatively get into this bush? <laughs> hey, I might need you to bring me a club, George. What do you need, sir? Uh, like we chop seven iron for some reason. Eight? We'll chop nine? Wow, this right here. That's breaking the century kind of stuff. This is what we needed. Oh no, that's not what we What are you doing? What happened? It got up too high. It wasn't supposed to go into this tree. I thought, I, see, why'd you not eight iron? You're so... I didn't think that I was just going to be down. I didn't think it was going to get... Woo! Can't make this stuff up, people. Oh no. Yeah, 214, I don't know if I can get three iron all the way there, but I think this is the best the best opportunity to uh, leave myself in a good position to make a birdie. But if I hit it good, I think it, it can sneak on that front, of the, front edge of the green. And yet, see, that's what you don't need to rip at it. So that's 100%. Swing within yourself, swing smooth. When it gets there, it gets there. But that one I tried like absolutely smoking it. And see, that's what, that's what just happens sometimes. 178 up to like 185 got a little tree trouble but this is honestly a little better than i thought just leave the number uh yep it did you're right well boy oh boy was right at the flag wait you got shit birdie no we got also another chance at a bogey on a par five yeah but the fact that if you don't find your ball i'm out of the match completely i mean yeah uh, all right Slap did not go all the way down into the garbage. It stays right here, perfect lie on an up close. All the mud off the turtle. And... Is it me or you, George? Alright, I'll go for it. Just not, not really pleased with myself right now at the moment. Not pleased one bit. It's all like strike, you're just like fly. It's like you're just flying so far. You know? Oh yeah, to be fair, the last time he was on the course playing, balls were literally like plugging. So he but still. 54 or 58. I'm gonna go 58. Yep, that's a good shot. Thank you. Oh boy. Real tickly one here. Needed it. That is a needed big it. putt. I mean, really, really needed it. Good putt. Oh, I feel like I'm just hanging on by a thread, mentally and physically. Good bird. Thank you. All right, here we go. Heading to the par five, number one, which is our tenth hole of the day. After nine, minus two. Two, that's what? Two out of the last three birdies for me. Let's go. Yeah, 200 for me, even for Wesley. That was, I mean, he made par. He easily could have made double or triple. And we're talking him out of the match. So that was a massive par. So heading the back nine, he does have a chance. He's two back. I got more than a chance. I mean, especially out here at Lex, you guys have seen it. The guy has shot some silly numbers. So no lead is safe with him out here. But heading the 10th, our 10th, hole one, par five. Let's go. You know what? I just lost that hole. Yeah, no I'm, I'm, I'm off the tee box. I'll tell you what. This club needs to start cooperating if we're gonna make a push at this championship here. I mean, this is the year in championship. I mean, I know. I cannot let it go out. We're like gonna this. do it after when we hop in the car. We're gonna see like a match counter, like the year, and see where it stands. What I, I can't do. go out like this, George. Well, so That's what, what I do. It's fine. Just sit. No, with... look, sand. It's fine. I'm also wishing a lot of bad things on you this nine hole. I don't know why. That's Keep wishing them, buddy. Just, yeah, but just land in the mud yeah. in the rough. <laughs> no, is that, is that, is that rough? Yeah, that ain't fair way. Yeah, 
That is a-okay. It's gonna be a little left, but that's fine. That's improvement, Wesley. That's called progress. Progress is good. You know, maybe, maybe just maybe Let's I'll go. have a birdie putt on a par five today. Maybe. Don't wanna like start forward thinking because that always leads you to bad place on the golf course, but maybe. I will say, Wesley, one of the comments uh, that, I, that I, on one of the last posts during your Q school, you wore the same kind of outfit and someone said, you look like you woke up on Christmas morning. You just look so comfortable. <laughs> I was. I was really comfy when I shot 64, and then I also was really comfy when I shot 79, so... Oh, you look comfortable, man. All right, here we go. 218 uphill, 225-ish. A little bit of mud on the right side. Not a lot, actually. But uh, for you, those of you um, get mud balls, whatever side the mud is on, the ball is going to go the opposite way. So if you got mud on the right side of the ball, always aim up right of the hole or right of your target and the, the mud is going to take it back left and vice versa but so there's a little bit on the right side so we're going to aim a hair farther right than we usually would but still three iron rip it smooth it this time though smooth oh whoa that was a huge pull hook i mean i understand there was mud george but that was terrible did you see that i was just telling the guys i didn't think there was that much mud y'all that went sideways All right. <laughs> oh my word all right I mean, you can see my whole club face is smattered with mud see look look at this that is why that is why my ball went dead left holy cow i've got a little smattering of mud on the left side of the ball so i'm going to be aiming up left i got four iron 215 should be a perfect club it's a good swing it's just not going to get there wesley Yeah, it's not going to get there. I didn't hit it great, but we're in a good spot. Advantage myself. A lot of unnecessary slander saying that was a dead slam hook anyway. It, it might have drawn into this bunker, maybe. But that thing, I, are you telling me I'm not entitled to my own opinion, George? There you are. Pretty good. A little, hit, little left, distance. I'm proud of that shot. How far we got, Carney? Like seven feet. <gasps> seven feet? Yes. Let's go. I know I hit the knife. I didn't think it was a break that much. All right. Finally get to eradicate all of the mud that's been acquired on this entire hole. Having the ball in the short stuff. Yuck. This is very makeable. This is very, very makeable. It's not spinning. That was a good shot. It's got to be low. It's got to be low. Come on, baby. Good putt. Nothing to do about that. A little mud ball. I hit four out of five good shots on this hole. Good putt. All right. I've seen this. I've seen it. I've seen it a million times. That was old. I was not near the beast, George. Still. Oh. Oh. I pushed it a touch. Oh. oh. Hey, Get them into red figures. Well, hey, welcome to the red. Two under, one under, heading to our 11th hole, par three, number two here. The road hole is, 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 is the dawn has donned it. It's about 160 yard shot, give or take a few yards. We, we, hey, ladies and gents, we have ourselves a match now. Got a thumbs up, it might be a tickle short, just a tickle. What do you got? I got eight. I'm about the same, same train of thought. Probably like a one, probably close to 170 shot back when it's warm. A little left, I mean, should be pretty decent. All right, that, that felt like a huge momentum shift right back there. It gave, uh, I feel like it gave me some light for some reason. I don't know. Oh, and then I hit that shot to couple it? Mm. And oh, I do want to put this disclaimer out there for everyone watching. I feel like I've got more energy than usual. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I, re I really, sure, honestly, sure. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I really don't. In the air, I'm excited. It's holiday season. Beautiful day, playing a match with Wesley. Doesn't get better than that. But this could turn into a classic. I really do believe it. Wesley's confident. I'm playing solid, hitting good shots. This one's going to come down to the 18th hole. I really do believe that. I thought when I saw it land, it was going to be about five feet. Get up here, 12, 15 feet. 12 feet probably. I feel like I feel like we got the momentum right now. All the momentum is in this camp. Uphill, freaking ever so slightly right and left, I think. Oh! Mm, just a touch firm. That's all it was. 
touch firm. Hate to see it. Shoot. <laughs> Lift out. <sighs> All right. George to take a two shot lead at the road hole. Oh, that's right. Golly. That's right. That was such a good putt. I saw it kicking left and then back right. Just didn't quite, didn't quite get enough big bar and deal in the beginning. But hey, two good putts, two good shots. It's all right. Two under, one, one shot under. lead. So we head to the third, par four downhill, number three. All right, driver here. Well, it was fine. Just hit the cart path and go past those trees. I mean, how am I supposed to compete with that, George? Can't. I mean, a one-shot deficit, and I'm and I'm playing against a literal robot. All right, favorite Christmas movies? Movie. Movie. Mo I movies got to be plural. I can't. There's not just one. There is just one. Oh, Christmas Vacation. Yes. I mean, that's my number one and my only. If I can only take one. I agree, but you get. Home more home watch alone. Home Alone one and two. Those things. No, home Alone, the original Home Alone. If I uh, if home I had to take a second, New York is freaking good. Like those, oh, are just, those are, I'm left by oh, the yeah, way. Sorry. Those are those classics. I mean, Christmas Vacation is one of those ones. It's I mean, it's made 40 plus years ago, and it's timeless. And I laugh every time. I know. Elf is probably my third one. If I have to take a third one with me. Okay. I've been hey been the Grinch. Andy's been watching the Grinch, the new one, the 2018 or 2019 with Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah, because you are the Grinch. Some days, yes, but that one, hey, that one's a good one too. Oh, here we go. Oh, take a drop. Perfect a washout area. That's a perfect lie. Shock, shocking. All right, so my ball's here in the washout area. I'm taking my relief, and which would be granted free relief. I'm gonna drop it. It's gonna go closer to the hole, and then I'm gonna drop it again. It's gonna go closer to the hole, and then we place it where the ball landed. And now George is upset because this looks like an absolute birdie now. Shoot me a numby. Shoot me a numby. Just tell me like 77 yards and I'll be happy. 79. Love it. This one could go in, Carney. I hope it does. I, said, I mean, I said that once today and it was a terrible shot. I said it once and it was a no. terrible shot. And this one might go in, George. No. 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 Where's the salt? Mm -hmm. the <laughs> Great shot. Hey. I thought that was the one, George. I really That was did. a good shot. I think it like got stuck in the ball mark or something. That was okay. off the of sand, nipped, landed into the grain. It's like a big moment. I got 60 yards. Wesley, I feel like he's just gonna make it. But I need I need to keep the pressure on. Hit a good one here. Oh, tugged it, but perfect distance. Oh, little nip key. I mean, inside 60 yards, having a 10 footer. It's one of those ones where it might look on camera way left, but you get up there, you have 12 feet. Anytime you have a 12 footer for birdie. Just never gonna be upset with it at all. I mean, yeah, what I did is I just, before George got up to the green, I quick hit a putt from where he was at so that he couldn't see it. So then when I come talk to the camera, I can tell you what the read is, not divulge that information to him. And so then you're gonna hear what his thought process is behind the read. And if they match up and he hits a good putt, he's gonna make it. And if they don't match up, then y'all are gonna know and he's not gonna know. And it's really a more joyous time for everybody involved. So I'm gonna let George read the putt. What are you seeing, Georgie boy? No, no, you ha you. This is no. part of the game. You have to tell. No, I just you know, whatever I say, you're gonna make a mark. No, no, I'm not. I, I promise. I'm just gonna talk to the camera, not tell you. We're gonna back off a little bit. So what do you see? What do you see, George? Not, Wesley. Dude, why can't? Why are you? Are you worried? It's going a little right. Okay, where are you playing it though? I'm not telling. Wesley. Just... <laughs> a little left and a little right. It's going a little so, left. So what do you think it is overall? I'm not, I'm not telling just, you. What exactly what I see? That's what I see. A little left, a little right. No, inside left was the read. Yeah, but it does it pickled a little? No, dude. I mean, let's go. I didn't fall for your games, Wesley. Because anything I'd say, you would make no, some I comment. I wasn't gonna make a comment whatsoever to you. I know, but I know you. If I would have said inside left, then you'd be like, oh, okay. And then what? <laughs> you would have... Then I'd be like, well, crap. What? Mine should be dead straight. This one right here is just straight downhill, straight down grain. If I hit it hard enough, it should just be dead straight. I mean, I pulled it. No! I mean, just don't hit bad putts. If you hit good putts, they go in. If you hit bad putts, they don't go in. 
So we just don't pull it. Dude, it's just not that hard to be good. Three under par. Bro, the camera hat over here. I was so excited, mid birdie. Three under, one under after 12. Back to a two shot lead. Let's go. The disappointment level is just through the roof right now. Well, why? I'm just not performing at the level in which I want to perform at. We've got a lot of golf holes left, man. Yeah, and like I mentioned in one of the last videos, like it just feels like there's going to be a lot of golf played for me. <laughs> and you're just not playing that much golf, and it's not going well. Hey, man, I love you. <sighs> All right, here we go. Number four, par three, 137 adjusted. Left to right wind. Well, I got to play this, you know, warm yardage, 145 shot, a little three quarter nine iron. Kind of started just a hair right of it. Draw it in there. Set. 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 Oh, the quick arm raise. Let's go. Not going well, but I do have a brand new golf ball. This this ball has no vibes associated to it. <laughs> All right, also, Wesley, come on. Iron. Let's go. Just leaking too much, man. It's just a bad shot. I just needed to drop now. Like right here, right now. Is that too hard? Too hard, man. Man. You need you need the double wide in your life. The versa double wide. He needs it. Mm. Watch it. Nice, uh, nice camera we're going to tap in. Now I just sit here and, and nice bar. watch my fate get decided for me. And George is about to go three up with six to play, set five to play. Yikes. Doesn't guess. Shout out to the white hot Versa, the double wide with, hey, look at what good grip we have. There might be, still, there might be a few left on Super Strokes website. Probably not, because they were going they said they were going pretty fast. We have three custom, um, I guess, three different sizes and styles with our really dope Brian Bros uh, logoing. Um, anyway, this combination, shout out to Superstroke, shout out to um, Odyssey and Callaway. I'm telling you, it's the best I've ever putted. Like, and not from like a strictly making, or ha how do I word this? I guess most consistently, most consistent I've putted really well. What? The longest I've putted, I have no idea what I'm trying to say. All I have to say, I'm putting, I'm putting the best I've, I've ever putted over a long stretch of time. And Wesley, he needs this. He needs this combination. I am begging him that 2024 he will try the double wide out. Anyway, 400 for me, 300 for Wesley as we head to the fifth hole, our 14th of the day. Come on, you man. Said four under, three under? No, four under to one under. Yeah. The T Box band yeah. is back. Yeah, hey, hey, T Box band, everyone. Yeah. I, at least I was tying holes for the most part, stealing T Boxes. Good shot. Good drive. I mean, we're finally in position. That's what we needed. We're in position. T Box Bandit is about to strike. These next three holes are pivotal. Quack hook from George here. Kind of a dance fan on the next hole. And another quack hook on seven. I think we're right back in this thing. Just stay in the left rough. Mud ball. Mud ball in the left rough. Just stay in the stay in the rough. It's a steel trap, Wesley. That's what this is. Hit my spot. I think that's like, I think that's a foot into the rough. Now one can only hope for a mud ball as well. It would be something. Mine is in the rough here. Again, it's a, it is a crapshoot. It's a coin flip because mud balls can make a massive difference. Oh, they sure do. But again, this hole is one of the ones where you cannot, you cannot go right. If you hit it all a little bit flary in the water hazard. The as, water. Opposed, as opposed to the uh, bunker hazard. In the water hazard. The penalty area. Yeah. And so my target is like left side of the, like left left rough and faded left side of the course. Of you're, you're in the left rough, but there's, uh, there's really no rough. Yeah, that's a good Look shot. Look at it. Uh, it's a fairway. It's, hey, you got driven this hole. Let's go. Oh, okay. Look at that mud ball. Do we get to clean it off in the fairway? All right, got 154 uphill into the breeze. Got a little seven iron. This right here is where grit and determination need to meet quality. Where they need to meet quality. Come on, just go in the hole. Just go entirely into the hole, baby. Right. Come on. Come on. Let's get right back in this thing. I'm not going down without a fight. Uh uh. Not for the last match of the year. Not gonna happen. This old dog is gonna bark from here to the clubhouse. Gotta go for some psychological warfare. But I also need to physically 
get on my horse a little bit. I think we can do this. Y'all hang in. Y'all hang in there. Good shot. I don't know where it is, but it looked, it looked quite nice. Under, no, no, it seems to be no, no uh, mud. 155 uphill, 160. Similar shot to that eight iron we hit on the par three. Oh, shout out mud ball. Carney, just shot off right. I was trying to play it out right, play the draw in there. You know, in the mud. A little, little snaky. Look at this. I mean, I thought, I thought for sure this was gonna go in. I mean, it must have just, it landed right here. It must have rolled like three inches right of the hole, maybe? Two inches? Less? Tough break. That, hey, that's what it, it pays to be in the fairway on days like this. You know, a little mud ball that instead of having 12, 15 feet for I got 30 feet. But still, the eight iron on this hole, I'll take it. Right to left, pick a spot, trust it. know it doesn't break as much left as it looks from that side. I mean, that's a great. You know it. This is a great putt. That was a good putt. If I, hit, if I hit it easier, it goes in. Tevin four. Four and a par still through, is that 14? Yeah. yeah. 14. This is a must make. I pulled it. I mean, why just hit a good putt? Yeah, go ahead and let me have it in the comments. Switch back to the short putter. I get, I get it. I 100% get it. I mean, that's just a bad, that's just a terrible putt. That's just a good putt. Maybe I should keep this putter in the back. I don't know. It's disappointing. All right, we got uh, four holes left and I'm three down. Let's see for you. So sad. Okay. It just makes me so sad. Well, I mean, the arm lock, it's just gonna, it's, 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 no, know what it is? It's the arm lock say, or it's, it's Goss saying, hey, Wesley, you're a great short putter. You don't need this arm lock. Dude, it just, would you have said that three days ago when I'm sitting number one in the field and no, putting? Maybe. No, you wouldn't have. But now, today, it's just been a bad day with the wand. Well, no, they're not. No, 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 they're like a sack of bricks is what it's felt like. You know what they're not saying? No, no they're not calling you in the comment section. What? Don Juan. Back by popular demand, the freaking T-Box Bandit. <laughs> I mean, this is <laughs> awful. I'm back. Back, absolutely back. This physical specimen right now is about to get on his horse and make some birds from here to the house. All of them. Just go ahead and mark them all down. I'm back. Just let, let the beats all run all the way through. I mean, seriously, Wesley? You're what? Good. We just needed a reaction cam on that tee ball. How was it? I mean, it hit left. How far left? I mean, we're fine. Did I mention I'm back? The fact that you would have the wherewithal to push that by backswing. It wasn't your backswing. It was right before you took the club back. That? You should turn the beeps off. You know how to turn the beeps off. You're a GoPro aficionado. Wesley, that could, I almost hit in the left, left trees. I hope it is in the left trees. I hit it really good and I'm gonna, it's not gonna be the trees, but you're. I'm back is what I am, George, I'm back. I'm a menace. I'm a they, force. Yeah, but you don't understand what I got I the am. I got the short putter coming back into play for the last four. The 15, the 14 club rule is not in effect today. It's fine. I saw your I saw your putt with the short putter on the first hole, so I welcome yeah, Maybe I prematurely benched it. Maybe it was just starting to get hot. You you unlocked something, Leslie. You're you, the beast, George. You've got a mud ball. Oh, my goodness. You are in the trees. You are in the trees. I don't think they're going to come into play, but you're in the trees. I'm back. All right. Well, in the last hole, we didn't draw a seven iron, but fate would have it we got seven iron back in our hands 168 we get to wipe all the mud off the ball and gonna make this one gosh it's right dang it I'm sure hmm hate to see that that's not the green that's a good shot I put for Bernal's hole's fine water oh up. yep I don't see water yep right up. here water no it's not that is absolutely water no, take it's not you you, can't, you don't shuffle your feet you just take your stance and I, if you're standing no just take your stance just take your stance look right here look water. no you that's you're water. you're having to push in dude just that's my stance you can see water let me mark it and take a complete relief no casual here but let me go clean my ball off real quick as the rules say i can do this is absolute elementary fudgery is what this is Playing the rest of it under protest George. No near the hole? There's no, there's no mud there. 
Balls in play. Wesley tried as hard as he could to sabotage me on the tee box. We do have a little tree trail. We gotta keep this thing under this tree. 149, playing about 150 yard, nine iron, so three quarter. Honestly, today's probably more like solid. Oh gosh, that's just delightful. Oh, short. Man, oh man, that ball flew nice and tight. Boy, that that was struck nicely. I didn't, that that right there, Wesley. Though, in all joke, take jokes aside, the difference in winter golf and you know summer because I hit that pretty three quarter close to full, and it and it flew what 140 max. Let's say it. No, my seven iron just flew about 155. That's what I'm saying. Is like in the summertime, that same swing is going like 155, 152 minimum. But regardless, got to put it birdie. Right. Shorty's back. Need to make something happen. This is so cash. Oh no. Slow. Oh no. Too short. Oh. That is a good putt. Look where that thing ended up. She snippety snapped. Man. See, that just looks right. Those tap ins look right. Good putt. Good four. Uh, three, maybe four down with three to go. After seeing that Wesley's ball there, I'm going to add potentially double the amount of break that I would normally. Thing ripped across the hole, especially as it loses speed. And with the speed, I'm, I'm going to try to kind of more die it in there. So we're going to add some more break because of that. I mean, talk about trying to lag for the championship. No one even trying to lag. That's a crazy thing. Well, go ahead and finish it out. After an attempt like that, you got to at least finish this one. Wow. Some grain right there. I mean, that's just, that's grain. I mean, I hit a good putt, just threw on the brakes, but three remaining, seven par five, eight par four, nine par four, four under to one under, three stroke lead. Let's go. Okay. What's the match looking like? The match is looking terrible. Thanks for asking, Brady. Oh. Terrible, horrible. Three down with three to go and I'm back. The bandit's back. You keep saying you're back. You've literally not left. No, I just said the bandit's back. No, the T-Box bandit has not left the entire day. No, I left for a hole or two. No, you haven't. I did. Uh, that's not a bad swing. I mean, but that's a mud ball in the, oh no, that's got car path written all over it. Whoa, well, look at that kick. Where is wow. that ball still, why is it still going it's into not, the tree? It's not, it's not, it's not bad. I just wanted the old slippity slide. So I got the flippity hook. Toe ball. No! Get absolutely wrecked ball. <sighs> Cart path. Jam it right in but right in behind those two trees, I think. Yeah, so for, hey, first bad drive of the day. It happened. And that's it just happened. It happens sometimes and it happened at the wrong time. Just toe ball. What are you doing? There's no practice here. No provisional for lost ball. I don't know. What are you doing? I said I'm looking at your ball. See that's if you just get to your left side, that's what your toe ball will do. Just be in play. <sighs> So it's annoying. egregious. No, it's that's egregious. just that's a lack of respect for the game, is what that is. Yeah, that happens. That that right there. I did not want the toe ball to happen. I feel like it happens on this hole fairly I, frequently. I don't know why. I also feel like you're in a really, really poor spot. I'm just gonna have to chip out and hit a wedge shot, which I mean, uh, I know. I don't. I could. I could. No, I know. Yeah, I'm fine. You're not. No, you're not, no, yes, you're right. not fine. Okay, I'm gonna chip it out and I'm gonna wedge it to five feet, make birdie. What I'm saying is like this is the hole. You just. Just get it up there yeah. and you hit it on the well, green. Well, yeah, you're fine. Actually, I'm more than fine. Yeah. Well, I don't know. That might not be like fine. I don't think you're going to get a wedge for your next one. This is bad. This is. This is. Absolute this hose. is risky. No, the reason. The risk comes into play. Hopefully, my ball doesn't move. Oh, wait. I wouldn't care if it did. Well, the risk is keeping it low enough and getting it over this little mat. Whoa, whoa! You, what's the moving pine straw? Now, here's a real question for you. In tournament golf, you're allowed to lose, you, lo, move loose impediments, right? Yeah. Could you, could you do this? Yeah, you could. I, I just, I mean. But you can't move all that or your ball's gonna move. Uh, will be the first time I've moved on camera. <laughs> Shout out Q School. I think you gotta just ship it out si backwards maybe. Or lefty, I think you go lefty chip out. Yeah, it's not great, but yeah, this is one of those ones where, risky. Well, why not try it, right? Leslie, come through. <laughs> Watch out, Wesley! Nice. Hey, let's go. Uh, it looks back. 
shoot me a number. Where's George at? I still don't even know. I'm sure it was locker probably 100 yards out. What? 218. I mean, I just need to hit a great shot. Need to hit a little hookity doo dah. Avoid these limbs. Have it land on the green, but soft enough to stay on the green. Hook a little more. Ball. Oh. We're on the surface. We got a putt, putt for eagle. eagle. We got a putt for eagle. We're on the surface. Objective complete. Dog mode engaged. The interesting thing is because it's kind of in between clubs. You don't want to swing full sand wedge out of this out of this lie. Right. You got to end it up on the correct tier. That's actually a good lie. It's got to be three quarter fifty degrees cold. You play at one twenty. I don't know. All I know is if my putt drops, it really, really makes this match way more interesting than it should be. Yeah, like a one, we'll play like a one eighteen shot. One fifteen uphill a few yards, fifty degree. One eighteen. I like it. But what if you do like that winter golf more turn aggressive ah, thing? I know. What if that happens? Everything has play 120 shot. What do you think? 120? Uh, anything that flies the green, I like. It's just a quality shot. It has to be a good distance. Yes, that is. That's just quality. That felt nice. Uh, I'll tell you what, I, can, I can't afford you making birdie here. That That's what I cannot good. afford. Come on, be in the right tier. It is. Be on the right tier. It is. It's a good shot. Be on the right tier. George is not on the correct tier. I mean, it was on the correct tier at one point. Oh my. It's a big swing for us. Hey, but we're not going to let that bother us or affect us. We're, we're going just... to our third putter of the day. We're actually going to use Georgia. Man, what the? Wow, that played. So we're talking, that was like a, probably should have played at 130. But again, uh, what I should have done is played like, hey, 125, we have eight, nine paces beyond the pin and you're fine. And instead I was kind of airing a little bit short, but in reality with a wedge shot, from a good lie, you air long here but again i hit a quality shot still have a putt at birdie after that drive what's this you don't have a guaranteed two putt i can see it i actually i don't even need to see it i can feel it all the hype is around this double wide with this brian bros grip oh it just continues to rip whoa it's good putt ah. I thought it was going to get up top and kind of like straighten out a time. You know, just so we don't have to exchange putters too often here on this hole, I'll go ahead and tap. Good birdie. Gets you to minus two for the day. Yeah. Good putt. Just outside right. Good firm putt. See it, feel it, trust it, rear roll it, hold it. That's a quality putt. Thank you. Man, does that sting a little? Like. Losing a stroke, only two down, two up now. But hey, heading to the eighth hole, our 17th of the day, minus four, minus two, we got ourselves a ball game. Who wants it more in match 25 to close out 2023? I want it more. There's no doubt. I don't know. I, this, this is this. It all comes out of this, folks. We just did the math. Hey, we're a little bit I'm not embarrassed, but we've only had four matches this year. We've had five technically. Yeah, the ones that so the ones that in your river that was on a golf course, it wasn't a golf course. The fact that I won that one, it doesn't count. Mm -mm. That was it. Literally, wasn't on a real golf course. It hadn't been operational. Anyway, two wins for me, two wins for you. If we want to count Brian Bros TV though, Wesley. Anyway, this match, match number twenty-five, decides the fate of this year's Brian Brothers match champion. Now next year I can guarantee we're going to play more than five matches. We're going to play hopefully way more than that, at least 12. But today it determines match number 25 here at Lexington Country Club or Country Club Lexington. It determines the champion. Let's go. No, no need to be abandoned. I actually earned the tee box for the first time today, I think. Literally the first time. So I'm going to yeah, take what's really? rightfully mine. Two down with two to play. Got to birdie them both and get lucky. Okay. Then play, fairway potentially. I just needed this not to be in the left rough. I just, uh, you gotta, gotta hit it right here. Oh man, this is too much for my heart to handle. A little too much cut. Whoa. George comes over and joins me. He hit it a little harder, so that means yeah. I'm gonna be hitting first. A little farther right than I'd like, but again, what? Same kind of thing. You, for whatever reason, if you go left, you probably lose the match. Yeah, that little toe jammer. We just had the. Had to err on the right side. 
And anytime like you're you you're playing a tournament, you're playing not even not, not even a tournament, but you had a bad shot, you want to you want to correct what you did, or if it, if you made an error that you know you did like that one, I kind of hung back on a little bit on the previous hole, hit a toe toe hook. So this one I was like, hey, really focus on getting that left side hard. And I did that, hit it solid. Hit, no, it did cut a little too much, but I made the correction that I was trying to make. So that's kind of a win. Like even though I am in the rough, I saw the problem, fixed it, and hit it pretty good. Oh, we got a perfect number. We got 96 yards. That is. So ideal for the old lob ski. George's in a downslope in the rough to the pin that's right on the knob here. I can feel it. George, this is this is what we needed right here. A thin lie, no mud, perfect lob wedge number. Just have to execute at this point. That's what it's gonna come down to, George. Come on. Come on. No, that's deep. Such a good shot though. Birdie here, man, you're not making that putt. I birdie this hole, it's over. I, I know, dude, that's just terrible. Insert, insert the Vince Carter gif. Well, if I mean, I, if I can, if I, Wesley, one more go, birdie. How did that go one so deep? Birdie. 81 yards um, to this, this pin out of this lot. It's just like a legit tough, tough shot here. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, Wesley, still a great shot. But man, I, as soon as I hit it, I know you were thinking, you were like, he's probably gonna shoot this over the green like he has every other time. Would you agree? I do that with Carney too. Hey George, I'm gonna go ahead and say you wanted a good secondary cam and I you get fumbled worse How? than anything I've ever done. I tried. How, how do you? Oh, I fumbled it bad, George, real bad. <laughs> I mean like as bad as you, George. What, what'd you? I was trying to get a shot through the cart. Dude, then I was like, it's not working, it's not working, so I... Just zoom in. No, no, I, I, I know I could have, George. George, this is, this is... It, but the focus wasn't working, and so then I... <laughs> what? I don't need you to zoom in the hole. I just need you to focus on me. Once I'd already missed it, I might as well get something. This is awful. Gosh. That was shot, though. The shot was great. My shot. It just flew like five yards too far. So unbelievably unfortunate. Right. All right, Wesley. I mean, it's got to drop. It's got it, it. There's no other option. It just goes. It rips. Look, I see. I just. I read the direction wrong. You gotta see the grain up there. Grain goes part that way. I mean, watch this. George's putt's about to go left too, and it just doesn't make sense why it would go no, left yeah, on both no, sides. No, the, the grain rips that way. What? I know, it doesn't make any sense, Wesley, that, that was the best part of the day. It doesn't make any sense. It, the good news is you got a two-stroke lead with one to play, but... That was the best, that was the best part of the day, and that's, that's, that's jump right there. Mine should not, mine should, at this point, should have started going back right. And that's, uh, that's case in point why you should never put stock in what you define as a good putt, and if it goes in or not, because no, that one right there... should never play golf. Those are the things <laughs> that... Oh, oh no, you should play for fun. You sh just shouldn't play competitively. Because that one right there, that was, again, that was the best play of the day. Red, but I missed it by a ball to the left. But again, I'm happy that I like I hit my line with the speed, the solidness, committed the stroke, committed the line. All that to say, <sighs> heading to our 18th hole today. Minus four, minus two, have a two stroke lead, one to go. For the best Brian brother of 2023. Well, no, yes, he, you know, no, he beat me at Bermuda. He beat me in a playoff at, at the Monday qualifier. So like, where do you put that? Where do you put, where do you weight that? I mean, it has to have more, <laughs> more weight than these matches out here. But, to. that's neither here nor there. <laughs> All right. That is like an golf that doesn't golf matter. Course. Golf that doesn't matter is, it's it's a it tough is, spot uh, for me to be in. Crazy. Two down, one to go. Need something crazy. Good shot. No, it's not a good I mean, it's in the right rise, it's fine. It's in the, it's in you just right need rise. life. No, I need to hole out for eagle, and I don't need mud on my ball. Just get, no, get, what? get royally hosed oh in those trees. Gosh. I mean, it's going to be in the right rough where it always is, but... I mean, yeah... It feels like... It feels like George could bogey this hole. I mean, it really right, does. That. I mean, it just it just feels like after that tee ball, George, you are primed to make a bogey. I know. Well, the which thing means is, no. The thing is, is there's no no qualms or queries or or, or bums about it. it makes no qualms sense. or queries or bums. 
I, I just the toe ball has been a little prevalent there. And the one thing I did not want to do, you can't, you go can't, up. you cannot flirt with that. And so I was like, I know I'm driving it good enough where if I just get to my left side, it's going to be in the right rough. Now it did fade a little more than I thought, yes. But again, it's just the, the, the driver had been a no, solid. It just end. feels like there's a chance right now. Yeah. Not like a good chance. No, I think I'm, I'm you not, could make bogey. I'm making bogey. Not saying I'm you're going to make bogey, but you could make bogey. No, I'm not making. I'm not. I'm birdieing. Right, but you could. Yeah, but you also have to make like, par with it. You have, to bird, you have to birdie that. Let's look at that mud. You got no chance. Like, where's my mud? Oh, oh goodness gracious, you're right. All right, we got 111 playing 115, and I have got a... 111 playing 115? Yeah. End of the wind? Do we know if it's in the wind? should be down. I've got an extreme mud ball. Well, that's what your range finder said. We probably shot the front of the green. 128. What? What did I shoot? You shot, the, you shot like I shot the flagstick, George. Uh, sorry that your rangefinder sucks. You try to, you try to like, no, I've got 56 degree. I was about to hit it 20 yards short of the you're green. You're welcome. 128. What did I like change it to meters or something? Yeah, you probably yeah. Should. Well, 128. You can get George first. I'm kind of out of it right now. 128. Just hit it close. Hit it close here. Just just 130 shot. Just end this thing. Solid pitching wedge. End it right here. Let me give him hope. Okay. There's no way. Okay, George. You mean to okay. Wesley? You mean to tell me that ball went 115? Okay. Absolutely bogeyable now. Oh, uh, it absolutely is. And I've got so much mud on this turtle. I've got to hit. I'm gonna hit the hardest oh gap wedge. Try and get as much spin on it as possible to sling the mud off. That I mean, we just we need solid contact, and we need the mud to come off, and we need this to fly straight, and we need it to end up right next to the hole, if not in the hole. And we need George's shadow to move gently. Anything, anything for you, boss? Come on, baby. Be as good as you look, baby doll. Go in the hole. No way that Just gets there. Just go in the hole. Short, like I no, said. No, 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 <laughs> no. 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 That's on you. No. Wesley, look here. Buddy. No, Buddy. Dude, no. Wesley, I hit pitching wedge. Solid. No, dude. I can get 135 out of this, no problem. Yeah, but that's it? hot. It's cold. It's dry. No, 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 cold. Uh, it's it's no. gotten colder since the day's gotten. No. <laughs> that was so with the flag stick. No, I gotta chip in. I think you're. I, I, think, I think you're away, bud. The three worst words in golf. Two you're, shot swing. You're still away. <laughs> Two shot swing. Well, see, I hit, we, see now again. This that's cold weather. We now I should have hit nine iron. No, I you shouldn't have, George. I I just I needed to hit something hard to get the spin off of it. Oh man, I hit mine so good, and I was like, it's gonna have 12 feet for birdie. It's gonna be a little, little right. It's gonna kick left, and I'm gonna have 12 feet for birdie. Instead, we have these chip shots. George. Oh, hey, Wesley well, still got a chance. You hadn't chipped in yet today. Flies two more yards. I have like. Seven feet straight up the hill. I'm chipping first, which actually is good news, because once this goes in and then George durfs it and it rolls all the way back to his feet, then he's got to worry about trying to like have the match. Kick left, can't believe it. Literally can't believe it. I hit the cut spinner too. Can't believe it kick left. All right, just go through your routine. I'll tap, George. Just go through your routine. It's right there. Two putts for the win. Heck of a match, man. Yes, come on. <sighs> One shot victory, just did what I needed to do there. Ending 2023 in style, as it was meant to be. Three to two victory on the yearly, the yearly, on the year's scoreboard final tally for Matt. But today, match 25 goes to yours truly. 69 to 70. Now did I, would I have made that putt if, probably, but we're trying to lag it up there. Anyway, guys, no, for real, thank you all for the support this year. It's been amazing. We are excited to film some better and more fun, more crazy content next year. Hopefully, you all stick around for that journey. Pro golf, not pro golf. Golf course, Selena Club will be will be done. So stay tuned. Wesley's going to go pout. I'm on cloud nine. I really am. The game's good.
in all seriousness, a little bit chapped after the way that went. Can't hide that, but I am thankful for every single one of you guys that watched and supported over this past year. 2024 is going to be crazy. We've got a lot of awesome things coming. Until next time, see ya.